Over the next couple of class periods, we're going to be conducting our first lab and starting our lab notebook, which is something that you will keep throughout the year. This year, we're doing the lab notebook digitally, and some of the labs will be done digitally as well. So I'm going to walk you through the first few steps of setting up your lab notebook so that it's ready to go, and then we will uh, walk through the first components of actually doing a lab, writing the report along the way, Ultimately, you will make the observations from the lab itself and fill in your data, your calculations, your analysis, and your conclusion. And at the end of that, you will have completed your first lab report and your first lab, which we're going to do together. And then the next time, you'll be expected to repeat these steps that we're going to be going over. And you can always refer back to this video. There are also uh, tutorials within the lab notebook itself for different elements that you might need to incorporate. So first of all, you're going to create your own copy of the digital or virtual lab notebook. So first, click on the link that will open up this copy. The first thing you need to do, extremely important, is go to File, click on Make a Copy. So this way you're creating your own lab notebook and not writing over someone else's change the name by entering your first and last name and the block that you're in. I'm just going to say A block. Digital Lab Notebook just like this and then click OK. So once this opens up now you can see up at the top it has your name, your block, and Digital Lab Notebook. It should read just like this but obviously with your name and if you're not in A block it will say something else. Everything else is going to be filled in as you go along and this one document will at the end of the year have all of your lab reports in it. So you're just going to keep adding to this throughout the course of the year. So once you've done that, the next thing I want you to do is go over to this blue button. See how it says it's private? Well you need to share it with me. Uh, that's the first thing you need to do. Click on the share button and then you're going to type in my email address which you can see here w-a-r-d-j at jumpsford.k12.ma.us so there's my email address and then you can just hit send you don't need to include a message uh, do leave the notify box checked make sure I'm an editor uh, so that I can make comments and, and uh, give you feedback as we go along and then just hit send okay so what I want you to do at this point is uh, go and do those two tasks, make a copy, change the name, and then share it with me, and then go on to the next video where we'll start formatting your lab notebook for the first lab.